Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that suppose you receive five hundred thousand dollars in a lottery. This amount is being paid over twenty years' time. You are given thirty-five thousand dollars per year from this amount. You deposit five hundred thousand dollars in the bank account, paying. 4% annual compound interest every year and you will draw $35,000 at the end of every year. Write a recursive formula that models the situation. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. In recursion, we find each term in the sequence by using the previous terms. When the first term or initial term or value is known, now in the question we can see the initial amount in bank is five hundred thousand dollars. That is, we have a naught is equal to five hundred thousand. Now. Bank gives 4% annual interest on it, and you will draw $35,000 per year. Now, let us find amount after one year. Let us denote it by a1. Since after one year the compound interest is 4%. So after one year, amount after the interest will be five hundred thousand plus four percent of five hundred thousand. Also, you will draw thirty-five thousand dollars per year from the amount. So amount in the bank. After one year is equal to five hundred thousand plus four percent of five hundred thousand, the whole minus thirty-five thousand. Now let the amount in the bank after one year be a one. So, a one is equal to now from these two terms, taking five hundred thousand common, it will be five hundred thousand into one plus four by hundred the whole minus thirty-five thousand. This implies a one is equal to five hundred thousand into. One plus zero point zero four the whole minus thirty five thousand, which implies a one is equal to five hundred thousand into one point zero four the whole minus thirty five thousand. Now this implies a one is equal to now five hundred thousand into one point zero four is. Five hundred and twenty thousand minus thirty-five thousand. This implies a one is equal to four hundred and eighty-five thousand. So, amount in the bank after one year is equal to four hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. So now, amount is four hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. So the amount next year will be a two, which will be equal to four hundred eighty-five thousand plus four percent of. Four hundred eighty-five thousand. 
minus 35,000. Now, taking 485,000 common from both these terms, it will be 485,000 into 1 plus 4 by 100 the whole minus 35,000 which is equal to 485,000 into 1 plus 0 0.04 the whole minus 35,000 and this is equal to 485,000 into 1.04 the whole minus 35,000 and this is equal to 504,400 minus 35,000 and subtracting this is equal to 469,400 so amount in the bank after 2 years that is A2 is equal to $469,400 Now Amount is $469,400 So Amount next year Will be A3 Which is equal to 469,400 plus 4% of 469,400 the whole minus 35,000 which is equal to 469,400 into 1.04 the whole minus 35,000 this is equal to 488,000 176 minus 35,000 subtracting this is equal to 453,176 so amount in the bank after 3 years that is A3 is equal to 453,176 dollars so we have the following amounts year after year first of all we have the initial amount that is A0 is equal to 500,000 then we have amount after one year that is A1 is equal to 500,000 into 1.04 minus 35,000 that is equal to 485,000 we can also write it as A1 is equal to now here you can see that initial amount A0 is equal to 500,000 so here we can write A0 into 1.04 minus 35,000 now we have A2 is equal to 485,000 into 1.04 minus 35,000 which is equal to 469,400 now we can write it as A2 is equal to now here you can see A1 is equal to 485,000 so here we can write this as a1 into 1.04 minus 35,000. Similarly, we can write the third year amount that is A3 which is equal to 469,400 into 1.04 minus 35,000 as A3 is equal to now here you can see that a2 is equal to 469,400 so here we can write it as A2 into 1.04 minus 35,000 now 
on continuing like this, we see the pattern that next year's amount is equal to previous year's amount multiplied by the interest factor minus 35,000. As here you can see that the next year's amount that is A1 is equal to previous year's amount that is A0 into the interest factor that is 1.04 minus 35,000. Similarly, you can see this in other cases also. Thus, after n years, the amount will be a n that is equal to a n minus 1 into 1.04 minus 35,000 that is the amount after n years which is a n is equal to previous year's amount that is a n minus 1 into interest factor that is 1.04 minus 35,000. So we have the following recursive formula that is a naught is equal to 500,000 a n is equal to a n minus 1 into 1.04 minus 35,000 where n is greater than equal to 1. So we have written the recursive formula that models the given situation and this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.